Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Gold trading down. You know, we're going to see gold trading around this 1600 to 1700 range for a few days. But we're heartened by the fact that for the first time in several months, a large speculators are back to long positions. Large speculators are back to long positions. That means there are buyers in the room. Uh, and I suspect that when perhaps two more hedge funds are forced to liquidate uh, uh, due to their other investments, we will then see gold resume its upward march. Secondly, <clears throat> one of the things that I think is important about the U.S. economy is that people keep discussing the outlook for profits and how American companies are becoming more profitable. The reason they're becoming more profitable is they're cutting labor costs. They're not hiring people. They're shifting from full to part-time employment. Uh, they're shifting from their own workers to contract or temporary workers. And this is the reason why we have an unemployment rate that's 16.7%. Companies are finding that in this market they can use fairly simple uh, trading mechanisms and fixed income transactions and a combination of those two things to provide income and cutting labor costs while in fact their sales are not growing, not going up or growing in any significant way. So that's one of the reasons that this economic situation is different than other situations we've been in before. Secondly, as we saw yesterday in um, the comments of Angela Merkel's aide, <clears throat> the Europeans think on a micro scale and this is a macro problem. Each of the nation states is accustomed to analyzing itself and they really have very little experience in examining the, the group as a whole. <clears throat> there was a brilliant article in the Financial Times yesterday that spoke to this direct point, wondering even whether or not uh, they've even bothered to do the macroeconomic analysis or they have the capacity to do the microeconomic analysis, excuse me, the macroeconomic analysis that will help them get out of this crisis. Uh, to, also, I must say, and this was pointed out to me by a very astute firm client, the European attitude, <clears throat> as expressed toward uh, Secretary Geithner uh, regarding his effort to try to help them, it's like, you Americans go away. We don't need you to tell us anything. And this is, in fact, for those widely traveled uh, clients and friends, uh, a common European attitude. And that attitude is directly harming their ability to work cohesively together and to come to a solution of these difficult problems they have created for themselves. I am heartened by the fact that everybody seems to think, and a dangerous thought, that the IMF has the money and the ECB have the money to solve the problem. The question is, do they have the will? So we're having some uh, very interesting times. <clears throat> we're suggesting that we continue to aim for the ice flows, not the open water. We've got a stock pick that's up about 7% since the 1st of September. If you'd like to learn about it, please call me or Al on 781-380-8888. Aim for the ice flows and keep swinging. Thanks.